Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. Man, I had to come to y'all real quick, man. Holla at y'all about Enoch the Freestyle Prince, about Young Pharaoh, Soul Illuminati, Spiritual Soul, whatever y'all want to call him, man, because y'all leading people astray, bro. Especially, man, not so much Soul Illuminati, but I know he been watching Enoch stuff. He been following stuff like that, and he might start pushing that stuff to his followers, bro, and then that that just continue to cycle with all this bs you feel me so first of all man enoch and young pharaoh they pushing that egyptian stuff man that egyptian stuff ain't on nothing bro like y'all talking all this third eye egyptian stuff like fam that egyptian stuff ain't gonna help nobody ain't nobody trying to be egyptian bro like on some real stuff is you sudanese is you sudanese because those are the real ancient egyptians why y'all y'all is continuing the ignorance steady group and all black people into the same nationality to the same race because when you go over there to africa all them little different sectors regions and countries of africa they know they're separate from the other people you feel me if you go to ghana you feel me they know they're different than than uh than the sudanese than the libyans than the ethiopians they know they're from a different bloodline they know they're a different nationality a totally different race Y'all, y'all bunching all black people into the same race, which is BS because the world started off black. Everybody was dark skinned like me, bro. Everybody was dark skinned like me in the beginning, fam. So, so why don't y'all be going and pointing out East Indians? When y'all see East Indians with the uh, red dot in the middle of their head, it's some of them way darker than black people, bro. It's some of them darker than a lot of black people I see, bro. Why y'all don't call them African? Why y'all don't try to group them in it? You feel me? So... So going back to that that skin color stuff, man, that, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean a thing, you feel me, on some real stuff. But we is not Egyptian, fam. Why ain't nobody trying to fight to be Egyptian? Everybody fighting to be the chosen people of God in the land of Israel, you feel me, or Palestine, whatever you want to call it. Everybody is fighting to be the holy people of that land, you feel me. Everybody's fighting to be the Jews. Everybody's fighting to be the Israelites. We got people claiming and faking to be the, the Jews, and they really not. My people is the real Jews, you feel me. And now you out here trying to claim, oh, we Egyptian, we Egyptian. We is not Egyptian, boy. Does, are you Sudanese? Are you are you from Sudan? Because those are the real Egyptians. The Everybody knows the Egyptians in Egypt right now ain't the real ancient Egyptians. Those are Arabs, you feel me. But even them, in 1950, the president, uh, I think his name is Gamal Nasser. Gamal Nasser, in 1950s, y'all could look this up, bro. He said, they asked him, do you think there will ever be peace in the Middle East? He said, no, there will never be peace over here because the Jews left black and they came back white. Everybody knows who we are except us, bro. Uh, Russia, they got stuff in their churches to this day. It's called Russian icons. You, you can even get a whole book of it. They got paintings and, like, uh icons and images of the real jews fam of jews of christianity and they all black they all black people everybody know who we is except us bro it's a reason why it's a reason why uh moses thought he was the egyptian his whole life you feel me it's a reason why it, it is a reason for that because egyptians and negroes looked alike you can even uh you can even go get some it's called the zondervan compact bible dictionary wrote by a white scholar came out before i was born this book was out before i was born that's how old it is it came out in the 90s you feel me and uh basically fam this white scholar if you go look up the definition for him because the thought has always been what these white scholars have uh, with these white churches have always told us is oh black people come from ham noah had three sons shem japheth and uh ham you feel me and they say all the dark skinned races come from ham you feel me if you go look up the definition for ham in the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, it says, uh, born about probably 96 years before the flood, whatever. It said, the progenitor of the dark races. It said, not the Negroes, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Libyans, the Ethiopians, and the Canaanites. It separated the Negroes from that, bro. So, so even these white scholars know that we are separate and we are different. We are chosen. Not all those people in Africa, fam, fam. The only people in Africa that resonate with us that are the same heritage as us is those from the West Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, that area, bro. That's where the slaves was brought from. Everybody else, fam, they was the ones selling, selling the slaves. What is you talking about, bro? Like, even they know they know we different. When they come over here, they call us a kata. 
cotton picking nigga basically is what they saying fam they say we came by a, a, a airplane you came by a boat we ain't the same you feel me they know we different everybody know we different y'all come over here trying to bunch us all up in the same thing and then y'all want to talk about all this third eye stuff for your third eye it's just your mind's eye, fam. That's your imagination, nigga. If I say picture yourself on the beach right now and you picture yourself on the beach in your mind, that's you using your third eye, bro. What is you talking about? Y'all talking all this, all this bull crap, you feel me? Like, and all this, all this stuff that don't really matter because the, the thing, the only thing that really matter is your own thoughts, bro. Your own thoughts is what attracts everything into your life. So if you can get your own thoughts under control, if you can get your own energy and vibration under control, then you can you can attract whatever you want. You don't got to do all this extra stuff that they talking about you got to do. You got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got you don't got to do none of that because you can you can get it fam simply by fixing your mind, bro. That's it. That's all, bro. You can fix your life simply by fixing your mind. That's the first step. That's what got to come first. Don't nothing else got to, can't nothing else come first, you feel me? But y'all leading people astray with all this Egyptian bull crap. You don't see the whole world fighting to be Egyptians, but you see the whole world fighting to be Jews, fighting to be the chosen people of Israel. It's a, it's a reason why all these different countries, the United States, all these European countries, they, they send money to Israel. They basically, they basically fund Israel, fam. Like, like Israel is their leader, fam. Like on some real stuff, the land of Israel, fam, the Jewish people, they fund them like they they leaders, you feel me? Like, come on now, it's a reason why this is so hidden. It's a reason why when Christ was born in the Roman king, fam, the Roman king uh, said that all Hebrew babies need, all Hebrew male babies need to be put to death. They hid Christ in, they hid Christ in Egypt, bro. Because Egyptians and Negroes look alike, bro. You tripping, y'all bugging out. It's a reason why, it's a reason why in the Bible, fam, y'all haven't heard all this. I'm not finna go back into the scriptures. I got a video that's called We Are Not Egyptians. Go look at that and it perfectly explains everything, fam. The, uh, the men in the Bible said they sells they was black. The, all the men in the Bible, all the uh, Israelites and Jews in the Bible was described as black people. It said Christ's feet was so black it looked like they burned in a furnace. And y'all be thinking it's a white man book and that's what be turning everybody up off of it, you feel me? No, nigga. It, it, in, in there it say they visage was blacker than a coal, you feel me? Because they, you know, like your visage is your face, you feel me? Blacker than the cold. You, you can't no white person be described as blacker than the cold. You feel me? King David's son. Everybody know David versus Goliath. King David's son, King Solomon, the greatest king that ever lived on the face of this earth. What he say? He said, "I am black because the sun hath looked upon me." If you think I'm lying, look it up, bro. Y'all think this is a white man's book? Ain't nothing white about it. You feel me? The white man stole it from us and turned it into his book. Why? Because he knows it's the truth. Because he knows if we figure out who we is, bro, it's on and popping. We back to the top. You feel me? On some real stuff. So, it's a reason why all. All the world is circulating around the land of Israel, around Palestine, whatever you call it. Ain't nobody fighting to get in Egypt. Ain't nobody fighting to take Egypt. Ain't nobody fighting to run Egypt. Ain't nobody fighting to be called the Egyptians. Ain't nobody stealing the Egyptian identity. Fam, Egypt, fam what's so crazy is Egyptians and the Sudanese, which are the real ancient Egyptians, they don't even follow Egyptology. You Negroes do because y'all lost. Y'all lost, bro. Like, y'all don't know who y'all is. Y'all don't know y'all real identity. So now y'all just trying to stake any identity onto y'all, which I understand because as growing up, I was so fascinated with Egypt because it was so mystical to me. You feel me? It was so magical to me. You feel me? And it was like so, so royal. It was like, it was like, man, like, look, look at their society. They don't even know how the pyramids was built. They was mystical. You feel me? Like, Fam, I was fascinated with that too. But then I came to the truth. You feel me? And this is the truth. It's a reason why Hitler said, the Jewish people that claim to be Jews and white folks, he said they're bastards because they're imitating the Oriental Negro. You feel me? He said they he said they fucking imitating the Negroes, boy. And his self documentary in that book, I showed all y'all this in the uh, in the We Are Not Egyptian video. He he shows a picture of the real Jews, bro, and it was a black person, a black man. He said these are the real Jews, and then he showed. The fake Jews and he put bastard above their head, you feel me? Because a bastard is somebody who don't know their father, right? So he basically saying, y'all don't even know who y'all is. Y'all trying to copy somebody else's heritage, you feel me? Y'all trying to copy somebody else's nationality. And that's why he went so hard on them. And people don't know that. But fam, all this Egypt crap is out the window, bro. Y'all got like, fam, like a hundred gods. That don't even make no sense. Y'all separating the power from yourself, bro. The power is within us. The, the source of everything is within us, bro. 
we is the ultimate of physical manifestation. Y'all putting the power in all these other deities and shit. You feel me? Y'all got like Ra, Amen, Isis, Aten, Osiris, Anubis, Horus, Shu. Y'all got all type of different God Thoth. Y'all worshiping all these different gods, all these different powers. Y'all just all over the place with it. That It just don't even make no sense. The ultimate power is within you. What do you say to yourself every day? What do you say to yourself when you do anything? You say, I am. The Bible has that knowledge. The Bible is the one that brought you, it brought you the knowledge that the ultimate source, the ultimate, the most high, his name is I am. The, the, the Bible is the one that brought you the knowledge of the law of attraction. That as you, as you think, so it's going to be done to you. As you believe, so it's going to be done to you. You feel me? It's done unto you as you believe. You feel me? The way your faith, fam, is what attracts what come into your life. You feel me? On some real shit. The Bible taught you that shit. Not all that stuff y'all talking about, fam. Worshipping sun gods and worshipping the Nile River, Nile God. and all this, you know, Worshipping all these different gods. There's one power and that one power is within you. Stop with the confusion. Fam, if we just get on this, if we get to the truth and then we put out the law of attraction, that's all people really need to know. It's how to get, they need to learn how to control their thoughts and their vibration, you feel me? Period, fam. And control their third eye, which is what they're visualizing all day, what they're imagining in their head. Period, man. Stop with the, stop with all the false stuff, y'all. Leading people astray. Uh, Enoch the Freestyle Prince, you leading people astray. Young Pharaoh. You lean people astray. Illuminati, you keep following people like this, you're going to be right behind them. You might end up being the worst because you got a bigger following than all of them, you feel me? I'm out.